This is the solution to written homework 36. So we're given a function f that is a function of two variables, x and y, and it has this parameter k in it. And parts a and b are asking uh, questions about the value k. So the first question is, for what values of k is the origin a stationary point? OK. So the first thing that we need to do is compute the partials. So the x partial, <clears throat> well, that will be 2x multiplied by that. So 2x multiplied by y plus 1 squared, and then plus uh, k is just a constant uh, with respect to x, and then x plus 1 squared, its partial will be 2 times x plus 1, and then y squared. So then the y partial of this the y partial of that is going to be x squared multiplied by 2 y plus 1 plus k multiplied by x plus 1 squared times 2y. So for part a, <coughs> What we want to know is that if we plug in, z for what values of k, when we plug in 0 into this, <clears throat> is that a stationary point? So notice at, at the origin, zero, 0, well, the x partial at 0, 0 because that x is there, that whole term is 0. And because that y is there, when you plug in 0 for it, that whole term is 0. So that's 0. And the y partial, because that x is there, that first term is 0. And because that y is there, that whole term is 0. So that means that <coughs> the to be a stationary point, both partials must be 0, and they are 0. So that means that the origin is <clears throat> a stationary point for all k. So it doesn't matter what k is. It's always going to be stationary. Uh, the origin will always be stationary. So now here's the next question. OK, what about for what values of k is the origin a local minimum? OK. So to figure that out, we'll need the second partials. <clears throat> Okay, so then the xx partial so the x partial of the x partial the y factor is just a constant and the 2 is a constant so the x partial of the first term is 2 y plus 1 squared <coughs> So now, this k is a constant, 2 is a constant, y squared is a constant. So now the x partial of x plus 1 is just 1. So that would be uh, k times 2y squared. So that's xx. <coughs> well, 
y y so the y partial of the y partial again x squared and 2 are constant and then the partial of y plus 1 is just 1 so that's x squared multiplied by 2 and then plus uh, the y partial of this so constant 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 and the y partial of y is 1 so that's k x plus 1 squared times 2 xy that means the y partial of the x partial so 2x is a constant and then the y partial of y plus 1 squared is 2y plus 1 <coughs> And k and 2 and x plus 1 are constants, so plus k, 2, x plus 1, and then multiplied by 2y <coughs> is a constant. Okay, and then yx. So that's the x partial of the y partial, so the x partial of this. So 2 is a constant, y plus 1 is constant, so then 2x multiplied by 2y plus 1 plus. Now k is a constant, so that would be k multiplied by 2 and then x plus 1 and then 2y. And so these two mixed partials are the same, so that's good. Now, if I was going to use these partials a lot, I might simplify them, but they're not going to be used very much. So now let's just classify 0, 0. <clears throat> so the classifier, so the xx partial the xx partial at uh, the origin. So that would be 2 times uh, 1 squared. So that would be 2 and then plus 0 multiplied by the yy partial. So that would be 0 plus and then this would be k and 1 and 2 so k multiplied by 2 and then minus <coughs> the xy partial at 0 0 well that term is 0 and that term is 0 so that's 0 squared so the classifier is 2 multiplied by 2k <coughs> so 2 multiplied by 2k So the classifier is D is equal to 4K. Now, in order for, <clears throat> for D to be able to conclude, for D to be able to conclude that we have a local minimum, we need <clears throat> D to be positive. So that is, we need 4k to be positive, which means we need k to be positive. Now, this, this alone, <clears throat> says that the origin is either going to be a minimum or a maximum. The question was very specific. The question said, what do we need to make it a minimum? <clears throat> so we need this, and we need the xx partial at 0, 0 to be negative. <clears throat> so the xx partial at 0, 0 
the xx partial is Ah, sorry. No, it's not that we need it to be negative. That would be a maximum. <laughs> we need it to be positive. We need it to be positive. So the xx partial is this. So that's 2 uh, plus 0, which is 2 greater than 0, which is always true. <clears throat> so this piece of information says that we're getting a minimum and so the conclusion is that we need k to be greater than zero <clears throat>